So now it's time to move on to the next part of this. So if I pull up the reference again, now I'm going to be focusing on the actual leech part of this leech. And I'm going to be making this sort of ribbed body that it has. So it's going to be a little tricky, but I think we'll be able to pull it off. So on the bottom now, I'm going to hit 1 on my keyboard, which is uh, for looking at it from the bottom. And once again with my draw tool, I'm going to use this rounded alpha that we have here. And I'm going to basically draw these, these ribs. And basically just like that. I'll make sure I have steady stroke turned on. may even make it a bit longer for this, maybe 30 or so. There we go. That'll be pretty good. So normally you may want to have symmetry turned on for this so you know that the pieces of it, that the two sides are always going to meet right in the middle. But the problem with that is this. If I try to draw with symmetry, watch what happens when the brush overlaps with itself in the center. It becomes stronger in the center where it was overlapping. If you wanted to keep symmetry turned on, I would need to stop the brush slightly before that happens and get and see it's really hard to do. Something kind of like that would be convincing. But that's really difficult to do and I don't think it's worth the effort that it would take just to have symmetry turned on. So I'm going to turn symmetry off and we're going to do it that way. Yeah, you see how you can see uh, little bands here in the brush? That's because of something called spacing on this particular alpha. So if we go to the brush options, there's an option here called use spacing, and that's really useful if you want to draw stamps of an image that are kind of far apart, like if I made these really far apart, that would be really useful for something, but for this, we don't want that. So I'm gonna turn off use spacing, or actually nope, turn it on and make it really, really low. and then you see it's a much, much smoother. All right, now let's draw this. Excellent. Alright, so now jumping to the mouth, I'm going to add in some piece of skin right here that kind of bridges the, uh, the top and the bottom lips. Kind of like what you see on most uh, reptiles, if I could find. Something kind of like this, but a little fuller. Yeah. So the way I'll do this is with um, my freeform cube again. Ah, it still remembers where it's supposed to be. All right, I'm gonna, still going to use the 2x3. And I'm also going to re enable symmetry. Now, even though we're in surface mode, these primitive tools still work. As you can tell, though, they are quite low res. That's okay, though. To bridge the gap between these, you can see the difference in the polygon counts there. To bridge the gap between these, we can use something called live clay. So basically what live clay does is that it will adaptively subdivide these polygons to accommodate whatever size brush you're using. You see, as I start to brush with live clay here, you'll see that it subdivides accordingly. Now I'm going to reduce my strength so that I'm not really doing a whole lot to it, just basically adding polygons. 
I see it did the same thing to the other side. And then what I can do is I can go back to my fill tool and fill this in a little bit. And then also smooth this out by a lot. Okay, next. So our, our main body here is starting to get fairly detailed. It's not quite uh, finished quality yet, but we're, gonna, we're getting there. So before I subdivide this model any further, I want to get the, uh, the gel sacs back in there. So before we continue though, I need to do a little bit more work on these. Namely, I just want to make sure that they're going to properly fit. Because once we merge them with the main body, it's going to be very difficult to separate them back out again. But we need to merge them with the main body because we're going to draw some connecting fibers between the main body and these gel sacs. Okay, so before I merge these with the, uh, with the main body, I need to uh, make sure that they're similar polygon resolution, otherwise they won't match, and you saw how much effort it took with, the, uh, with this, a little bit of extra connective tissue that we added here. So I'm going to up-res these once, that should be good enough, and then I will merge them with the main body, which will turn them into uh, surface objects. So I'll merge with main body and there we go. Now the crease between them is going to be very sharp and as you saw earlier we we kind of want that but there's a little bit more that we I might fill it out just a tiny bit. Okay, we are ready to move up a subdivision level.